this big boat has lived a long and happy life. 31 years old and now it's time to retire. Ah, retirement. <clears throat> this big boat is the Aurora Australis and it's what's known as an icebreaker. So, so, you, uh, so you, have you heard how much polar bears weigh? How, how much? Um, enough to break the ice. <laughs> Shh. Or not. Uh, no, not that type of icebreaker. It's literally an icebreaker. As in a ship that's specially designed to plough its way through sea ice. And its job for the last 31 years has been to look after researchers living in Antarctica, carrying more than 14,000 people back and forth over 150 expeditions, as well as lots of food, water and other supplies. Let's take a look at its early days. 1989, the year Taylor Swift was born. The ship was built in Newcastle and is owned by p and Maritime Services, who then leased it to the Australian Antarctic Division for 30 years. They named it the Aurora Australis and it made waves from the very beginning. On board, it's fully kitted out with all sorts of scientific equipment that can be used to study what's going on underneath the water and above it. It's helped uh, science uncover amazing uh, new information about the role of the Southern Ocean, uh, its food web and also um, the science that um, underpins our, our efforts in understanding a changing climate. But it hasn't always been smooth sailing. And Aurora Australis, or Orange Ruffy as it's been nicknamed, has seen some drama. In 1999, a big fire broke out in the engine room, caused by a leaking fuel hose. In 2014, it was a big part of a rescue mission to evacuate 52 Russian researchers whose ship was stuck in the ice. And in 2016, it got itself into a bit of trouble when it ran aground during an Antarctic blizzard. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> uh, Now, Old Ruffy is on its final trip, heading to Macquarie Island, where it'll supply the researchers that live there with enough food, fuel and supplies to last them 12 months. So, what next for the Aurora Australis? Well, it's going to be sent back to its owners, and it'll be up to them what they do with it. It might be used by a different expedition team, or it might be scrapped and turned into a completely new boat. Only time will tell. In the meantime, the Australian Antarctic team is waiting on a replacement ship which is still being built and is running a bit late. A competition was held to name it, bringing in nearly 800 entries from across Australia. The winning name was Noyina, which means Southern Lights in Palawakani, the Tasmanian Aboriginal language. That'll be two boats in a row named after those beautiful lights that can sometimes be seen in the Southern night sky.